Chapter 12 of Boruto. Two blue vortex revealed the actions of Rasengan Uzuhika. Did Hidari die or not? The release of Sasuke Uchiha and the fragment of the Ten Tails soul. Enjoy watching. Boruto saves Himawari and Sarada. Konohamaru does not understand what is happening. Hidari tries to attack the main character, but the Hokage's son stops the blow and counterattacks, throwing the enemy a considerable distance away. Boruto is too grandiose to fight such an ordinary opponent as just a part of the Ten Tails. Meanwhile, Kawaki and Delta arrive at the scene of Himawari and Jura's battle, but only find a part of the Ten Tails, who couldn't care less about this pair. We are shown that Jura's vision is so strong that he can see several kilometers away. He is more interested in how Boruto and Hidari's battle will unfold fold, and doesn't care about Kawaki at all, not considering him a serious opponent. Konohamaru tries to reprimand the main character, saying that he is overstepping his bounds, as Boruto is considered a traitor to Konoha and has no right to be there. I have a question for Konohamaru. Would it have been better if Boruto hadn't come, and Jura and Hidari had absorbed Himawari and Sarada? I hope Naruto's student would better understand the situation and be grateful for the rescue. Therefore, Sarada has to intervene and explain to her teacher that things are not so simple. And Boruto explains in Pathos that Hidari was born from from Sasuke's chakra. If they defeat this creation now, they can save Uchiha. Hidari demonstrates more of his abilities, which are centered around Code's technique, scratches. The enemy summons Tsumiyaki to surround the main character and the others. But over several chapters, we've already realized that for Boruto, these are just insects and nothing more. Hidari continues to try to absorb Sarada. Using Tsumiyaki as a portal, he catches Uchiha, but Boruto gives us a cool reference to his grandfather by teleporting behind the enemy and attacking him with Rasengan. Thanks to this injury, we we learn that Hidari does not have the same regeneration as a regular Jubi. Sasuke's clone moves to the tree dimension, where the roots heal his wounds. Then, many scratches appear around the main character and Sarada, and Boruto says they need to defeat the enemy with one blow. Sarada suggests he fly up and attack from the air, and here we are explained what Uzuhika is, the new Rasengan. The main character cannot lift his feet off the ground, and this is related to his new technique. In the battle against Code, Boruto did not use Uzuhika to its full extent, and now we learn that this this technique essentially has no limit. It uses the rotation of the planet and the accompanying centrifugal force. Boruto calls it the planet's chakra, but he needs to absorb the planet's chakra directly from the ground with both feet so he can't fly. To reach full strength, he needs to accumulate chakra, and the longer he does this, the more powerful Uzuhika will be. While Boruto prepares, Hidari tries to attack, but Konohamaru shows us the barrier Rasengan, his new technique. But Sasuke's clone still manages to grab Sarada, and we see Chidori Nagashi in her performance. Then Sarada perfectly throws the ten tails towards Boruto, but he says he hasn't yet gathered all the power for Rasengan, but attacks with Uzuhika anyway, and it's something incredible. The vortex surrounds Hidari and tears him to pieces. It's something similar to and shuriken, but that destroyed almost down to the molecules with its tiny cuts. And the main character's new technique tears the enemy apart. And at this moment, we understand that Code was never an opponent for Boruto, as he really could have finished him off at any moment. Only half of Hidari remains due to the incomplete activation of Uzuhika, and he tries to escape to the tree again to heal. But Kawaki appears, compresses the scratches with his eye, and then destroys Hidari completely. And at this moment, something strange happens. The particles of the enemy gather into something resembling a chakra fruit with a rinnegan and spikes. Boruto instantly catches this thing and shows it to the frog, asking Kashin Koji if it is it, to which he is answered affirmatively, saying that he has seen it before and calling it the thorny soul. It should somehow save Sasuke. Kawaki is interested in what it is. A little verbal spat occurs between the brothers. Boruto says that if he doesn't let him go, he will lose his arm. And at this very moment, Jura makes himself known, shooting Boruto with a small tailed beast sphere from an enormous distance. This is a serious enough wound. Boruto starts spitting blood and falls to the ground. Sarada tries to grab the key to saving her father, but Jura attacks again and injures her arm. The thorny soul then flies towards Jura, who is surprised that Boruto already knows about the thorny souls. He says that Boruto is much more dangerous and that Kawaki alone will be enough to create the divine tree, while Boruto must die because he represents a greater threat. This is where the chapter ends, and we understand that in the new chapter, several things could happen. Either a battle against Jura or his retreat to revive Hidari, as I don't think this character is completely dead. Thanks to his defeat, we were were shown the thorny soul, which is the key to saving those trapped in the trees. We still have the clones of Bug and Matsuri, who have not yet shown themselves. Their targets are Konohamaru and Ada, so let's wait for their appearance. In my opinion, Boruto is too strong. There must come a moment when he loses. The main character cannot be the one who defeats everyone, otherwise it becomes like Saitama. And regarding Sasuke, the thorny soul being the key can free him from his imprisonment in the tree. It can also be a new power-up since there is a possibility that those trapped in the tree must merge 
engage with the thorny soul, granting them immunity to the tree, and the technique will dissipate. Additionally, this thing resembles a chakra fruit created from the ten tails, which could allow the authors to enhance the old characters. But this will not happen soon. I really liked the chapter, but I wanted to finally see Serata's Mangekyo and its abilities. I was surprised that Hidari lost so quickly, but this happened thanks to two Otsutsuki, and the authors simply showed us a way to free those trapped in the tree. We await Hidari's return, the appearance of other parts of the ten tails, and personally, I am waiting for Baruto to lose to someone. Share your opinion about the chapter in the comments. Good luck to everyone.